Good morning. Good morning, Scorpio. Good morning, honey. Um, if you are new here, welcome. And if you are turning, welcome back. Um, you know you're a diamond. Shine bright like a diamond. All right, Scorpio. So I'm going to get into a quick prayer, okay? Um, we do have to pray here on the channel. For those of you that are new, a prayer is a must. That's where these messages come from. Um, however, for this reading, this was requested um, for all the signs, all right? Um, so I'm going to find out who's doing black magic on Scorpio, okay? So take what resonates to you, my darlings. Leave the rest, okay? I'm going to shed some light into how you've been feeling and what has been happening with your situation. I'm going to also be using the tarot to clarify your messages, okay? Let's get into a quick prayer. Tap into your energy. Heavenly Father, as I go along my day, I ask that you bless myself and my seekers. Heavenly Father, please send your most powerful angels to take charge over this reading, using my body as a vessel, giving me the right words and giving me the right messages that you want me to share with the ones that needs to know. Heavenly Father, I do give you all the honor and all the praise in Jesus' name. We pray, amen. All right, let me kind of shift my candle here a little bit. <coughs> all right. All right, my darlings. Just know that this is a general reading and not a personal. It may or may not resonate with every one of you. Take from this reading what resonates to you and leave the rest, okay? All right, angels, release the energy, please. Let me go ahead and get an angel here for you guys to assist me with this particular read as I will be going into who is doing black magic on you guys, all right? Reveal the person who's doing black magic on Scorpio. All right, angels, um, who will be coming in to assist me with this reveal for Scorpio, please? Which one of the angels are coming through to reveal who's doing black magic on Scorpio? Okay, so there's two angels here, okay? The angels of past life. This is the angel that is here for you. The angel number 24 in line. And the last one is the angel of adventure. And this will be the first angel that came through to assist me with this read today. All right. All right, angels, let's get to work, please. For Scorpio, please. All right, who's doing black magic on Scorpio? Please reveal who's doing black magic on Scorpio, please. All right, so this person who's doing black magic on you, Scorpio, is a very dominant person. This person wants to take authority of your life. They want to be the one in charge, okay? This person um, wants to make all the decisions, wants to make all the choices for you, and they also wants to make all the movement, moving past, present or future activities, okay? This is what the energy is bringing in for this person who's doing black magic on Scorpio. Tell me more about this person. Tell me more about this person, angels. Please tell me more about this person who's doing black magic on Scorpio, please. Reveal what this person is doing to Scorpio, please. All right. Hmm. So this person is very jealous of you is what I'm seeing, okay? They don't want you to balance your life. This is what you really want to do for yourself is balancing your life. But this person is full with so much hate. They're trying not to have you see things clearly. Even tapping into your patience here. 
having you feeling very frustrated okay with whatever it is that you feel like you want to do with your life there's a lot of things that you're dealing with and i feel like this black magic that you're doing is having you really can't be able to focus here but it's just saying that you have to tap into your intuition um, I'm getting somebody knows who this is. I'm getting the number two is irrelevant to this person. The number two is relevant to this person who's doing black magic on you. Okay. The number two is relevant. Tell me more. Reveal this person, please. And we have some flip card that wants to come through. So we let those through, y'all. Let's let them through. Okay, angels are revealing these persons, the angels of adventure and the angels of past life, okay? I'm getting that somebody's all mixed up, okay? But you have to choose wisely. You're either trying to figure out a way, a direction to go here. Choose wisely, okay? Because this confusion is caused by the black magic. Spell work. Patience and planning. There you go. Okay, for some of you, you maybe even want to walk away from a situation, having a hard time walking away from it, is what I'm hearing, all right? Um, patience and planning. This is the focus. This is what they're trying not to have you do because of hate here, okay? Positive movement forward. There you go. I'm seeing you trying your darndest to get away from this, okay? But your life seems to be in the reverse here. Financial and material changes, Yeah. You're definitely having money issues here, okay? I'm getting for some of you, this was made, this seems to be some kind of a sudden shade that seems to be spiraling out of control. It's like the more you try, the harder it gets. Wisdom. You're going to have to have wisdom here and learning how to protect in your energy here, okay? This has to do with the home structure. I'm getting that they, there might be this person who may be doing spell work on you, this person may have a pet, a dog, okay? Mm-hmm. They might have had one before, is what I'm hearing. I'm seeing you moving on. Or right, this could be them who's moving on into trying something else here. This is what I'm seeing. This is what I'm seeing here. Tell me more about this person's intention. They're doing black magic on Scorpio, please. Tell me more. Their true intentions. Tell me more about this person who's doing black magic on Scorpio, please. Okay, yeah. So this person pretends really well like they're a very religious person they're really not okay this person is hiding in the shadow here they're hiding in the shadow pretending to be someone they're not don't let this person pray for you because they have ill intentions towards you okay this person might have suffered an emotional loss here and they're blaming you for it all right it's what they're doing uh-huh all right, so I'm getting recognition and, and reward. So this person knows that you are going to be on top of the top. They know that the angels or God has an intentions in your life here that is going to manifest power and greatness towards you. Reward. And their intention is to stop you here. In the reverse. In the reverse. Discontent and boredom. That's it. That's what they're trying to have you doing. They're trying to have you feel like everything that you do, you're not contented with what is coming towards you. Even if you're laying in a bed with a million dollars, you still feel like they, you have not accomplished anything. Boredom is starting to set in. And just to say that it's time that you rest and rejuvenate. Rest and rejuvenate. Tapping into spiritual form here to release this negativ negativity around you. Tell me more, angels. Tell me more about this person who's doing black magic on Scorpio, please. Temptation. Yeah. This person here is filled with nothing but lust, envy, hate, and nothing but karmic temptation is what I'm getting here, okay? Yeah. This person won't communicate with you. They won't communicate with you because they, the throat chakra is here, okay? 
This is balance. This is communication. They're not communicating with you. But it's time for solitude. Solitude. Tapping into form here and asking the universe for help. Putting, the, putting yourself first here and walking away from problem and destruction here. Because I'm getting the waiting game here. Someone is waiting, waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting. This person is waiting, waiting for you to perish, okay? But you won't. You will never perish. You will never perish. The, you have the foundation of achievement here. You will never perish. This is how I see you. This is how angel wants you to know that you have been seen by them. No matter what this enemy is trying, they will never win. They will never win, Scorpio, and they can never win. Tell me more about this person who's doing black magic on Scorpio Angels. Please tell me more about this person who's doing black magic on Scorpio, please. All right, so we're getting the, the, the sacral chakra. This chakra here is one that shows um, emotion and desire, okay, with this... Uh, sacral chakra i'm getting the person who is doing spell work on you they have um been dealing with their sexuality okay it's what they've been doing the third eye chakra mm -hmm. um hmm. you have to move away from this inner guy your, your inner peace your inner peace wants you to tap into inner guidance okay because if you continue to be on this route where the third eye chakra is here Formation of inner guidance. <clears throat> what you need is inner peace. Inner peace is giving me um, fulfillment of wishes here, okay? This fulfillment is of wishes is what you have been asking for, okay? What you've been yearning for. For some of you, you already seen something that is wrong here. With the sacral chakra, with the third eye chakra, yeah, you see, you know, something is off. I feel like for some of you, you might have went and got a personal reading. It, it didn't work, y'all. Because transformation is needed here. It didn't work, okay? Tell me more. You didn't get the answers that you were seeking here. Angels of past life. There's something going on with your past life issues. As far as these, the, this person who is doing spell work on you. Revealed in the name of Jesus. Uh-huh. Passion. Ignited. So this could be someone or something. Uh, oh, something is attached to your energy here. With someone that you might have um, been with, Okay. This person here also is really tapping into your spirituality, into your inner sexual form, okay? Into your head, into your mind here. Passion Ignite. This person is trying to have you feel sexually aroused, even when you should not be. Spiritual union. This is someone that you have been with, okay? Someone from your past, honey. Tell me more. Tell me more about this person here because I need to know. Wow. Angels of past life. I thank you. Angels of adventure. Clarify, please. The, the angels of adventure is giving me the crown. The crown chakra. High spiritualization. Just like I told you earlier about spiritualization. That is the only thing that is going to release this black magic, okay? Wisdom. This is the crown chakra, okay? Wisdom of consciousness, high spiritual consciousness is going to bring you wisdom with this crown chakra. This crown chakra is bringing in heartache and loss that you had suffered. All right? But you will triumph into success here. Tell me more. Thank you, angels of adventure here. Tell me more about this person who's practicing black magic on Scorpio triumph yeah you are definitely going to win this battle you are going to be a winner here this black magic will be released is what i'm seeing here it is going to be gone whether they like it or not i see you releasing this energy will be released because it's not supposed to be a part of your dwelling here a spiritual form there is someone from your um someone that has passed on okay that is definitely keeping an eye over you and this person is definitely watching you Definitely watching is what I'm hearing, okay? Because you have suffered a lot of disruption is the word. A lot of disruption is what you have suffered mentally, mentally, all right? Let me um, tap into the energy of this um, person that is connected to you that has passed on, okay? 
Alright, angels, tap it into the energy, please. Who is this person that is connected to Scorpio that has passed on? Who is this person that is connected? Watching over Scorpio from the other side. From the other side. Mm hmm. From the other side. Let me have two cards here. There's another deck that I'm going to get because someone wants to reveal something from another deck, okay? So I'm going to get two cards here is what angels are saying. All I need is two cards. Who's this person? Hmm. Okay, who's this person? One more. Okay. I needed two, but they're saying no, it's not two, it's four. Okay, thank you. All right, so this person is coming through as a seven of wands of in the reverse, the fool in the reverse, the knight of wands in the reverse, the king of pentacles. Now, let me tell you what I'm feeling, okay? This person. Um, this person who has passed on, first they wanted me to share with you and let me know that um, their passing felt like it was an attack. That's why they passed over, okay? Um, this person is giving me like, while they were here, there was a lot of things that was going on, okay? A lot of arguments and conflicts and things that seemed like it wasn't going to end. They was fighting battles here. All right. <clears throat> they were having me feel like they used to defend you. They would defend you while they were here. But they're also saying that you have made some immature, foolish decision here. You have to be responsible because you sometimes tend to make imp impulsive moves is what this person is saying. Um, it's time that you take away irresponsible behavior is what they're telling me, all right? Um, this person is also telling me that you have been very restless and so have they have been restless because they have to keep an eye is what they're saying. I'm keeping an eye on you is what they're saying, okay? This person is telling me that you may be a little bit hot-headed at times, Scorpio. You have a tendency to be a little bit hot-headed, okay? Especially with actions is what they're saying, but you have to come up with a strategy for planning forward movement here, okay? Because what you have been doing or what your intentions was from your past experiences is sizzled out, is what they're saying. Tell me more, tell me more, tell me more, tell me more. This person is telling me that while they were here, they were very helpful towards you. And even though they're not here now, they are still helpful towards you. This person is having me feel that they was kind of a person that would put balance towards a situation that would be <clears throat> there to help others okay this person is telling me that they might they might have they was a provider while they were here both financially emotionally they was the one that would settle arguments and conflicts here all right they're telling me that they might have given you some kind of a financial advice while they were here okay is what i'm hearing All right, tell me more, please, about this person from the other side. Okay, please tell me more. Please tell me more. What is it that you want to share with Scorpio? What is it that you want to share with Scorpio, please? <clears throat> okay. All right. So now this person is telling me that you need to be walking away, okay? Um, they're giving me this thinking woman. So I'm getting this is a woman that is coming through. This woman is the thinking woman. This woman is giving me the king of pentacles. This woman is the thinking woman, okay? <clears throat> I don't know if the number 47 is relevant for some of you, but this person is telling me also about you rising above the frame. <clears throat> Things that is... <clears throat> oh, hold on. I don't have, hold on. I have some tea, y'all. Hold on. <clears throat> this person is telling me that you have um, things that are coming towards you here, but you have to be focused. Tell me more. <clears throat> okay. 
All right. So she's uh, now she's confirming. Yes, this this is a female um type of a person. This person that is here right now. Okay, I don't know which one of you guys this is for, but I'm damn sure it's one of you. This person is connected to that is watching. Okay, I'm not surprised why this person coming through because anytime I get an angel that gives me past life. Okay, I always know that someone is going to come through from the past. So this person is here. <clears throat> now, <clears throat> I'm getting, she's saying that there's something that is coming. Okay, there's something that is coming. You have to get ready for this something that is coming. Okay, <clears throat> but you're going to ride this storm. This storm is going to be one that you might feel like you're not able to walk to, uh, to ride it out, but you will. <clears throat> there's a specific, there's a specific person in your life it's more feels like a friend it's more feels like a sisterly or brotherly friend connect with that person okay um for some of you you just need to take a little trip away with that particular one person i'm not talking about going away with a whole bunch of group of people there's just one particular person that you're very close with this person is very connected to you on a spiritual level angels will guide you both of you together in friendship Guided you on um, a clearer path. I'm getting this person is going through something. Not exactly what you're dealing with. But similar situation. You both need to connect and to get away and retreat. Is what I'm hearing. Here okay. Because it's a storm warning that's coming in. This storm warning is giving me the sixth chakra here. The sixth chakra is giving me anxiety. This person is telling me that what is coming towards you is anxiety. Okay. From a broken heart is what she's saying. But you're going to read the victories, what she's saying. She's saying that um, you have to let this woman ho hold your hand. Hold your hand, okay? Well, oh, my goodness, y'all. I'm shivering. Look at this. You see what I'm saying? Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Y'all, I got to go get that because, honey. Honey, honey. Hold on, y'all. Hold on because... <laughs> Haters of balance, okay? That's the card that threw out the deck. Angels of balance, right? This angel of balance is having me feel like this, per this person that's here. She's saying balance. You need balance, okay? You need balance. Balance is what you need. Balance is what's going to get you through. Balance is what is going to have you feel better, think better, and love yourself more than you have been, okay? This is what I'm hearing. Hmm. Hmm. I'm seeing this woman as a very loving person. Um, this person was very, very spiritual person. Okay. She's given me something about she had to walk away from a certain situation as well. Um, and she said that she had needed, she needed to walk away from it before she actually passed on, before she crossed over. Um, and she was happy that she was able to let those things go. All right. She's happy where she is, is what she's saying. Um, she's loved where she is. But for you, as far as balance and victory is concerned, you have to be able to walk away from those things is what I'm getting. Okay. All right. That's going to be your read, y'all. Um, pull the energy. Pull the energy. Pull the energy. Uh, that's going to be your, your reading. Um. Scorpio, I hope it resonate with you. Please, y'all, don't forget to, um, oh, wow, I could feel it. <laughs> don't forget to subscribe if you have not, okay? Now, if you do need to, if you do need to have a prayer request, all right, it's very simple. Just go ahead and leave your initial in the comment section of this video. Now, for some of you, I need you to write the Angels of Past Life. Number 24, the Angels of Adventure, number one. Write these angels on white paper or parchment, okay? Put it underneath your mattress. Don't put it under your pillow because this one is intense. So I want you to put it under your mattress on the side that you sleep, okay? Um, make sure that you write what you need to change in your life. Be sure that they, whatever you write on that parchment, his true intentions, because if it's bad intentions, it will not work, okay? Say your 23rd Psalms and have these two angels work on your behalf, okay? 
All right, I love you guys so, so, so much. Um, pray for me, y'all, as I will be praying for you. And with that said, always remember to seek first, and you'll always find. Hey, seekers, Bye. welcome back to the channel. This reading is going to be for our Scorpio singles. Hi, Scorpio. Welcome back. If you're here for your first time, welcome. And if you're returning, welcome back. Welcome back, honey. Um, on the channel, we do pray for the ones that are new. Just know that you're a diamond, okay? Shine bright like a diamond. Um, I'm going to get into a pray, tap into your energy, and pull or messages in. And again, this reading is for Scorpio singles only, okay? Heavenly Father, as I go along my day, ask that you bless myself and my seekers. Heavenly Father, please send your most powerful angels to take charge over this reading, using my body as a vessel. Give me the right words and the right messages that you want me to share the ones that needs to know. Heavenly Father, I do give you all the honor and all the praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, Scorpio. So, this reading is a general one and not a personal one. Now, because it's a general reading, it could pick up your person energy. Whether you're with your person or you have a person or not, it could pick up whatever it wants to pick up, okay? Um, just take whatever is yours and leave the rest. Now, it also could pick up the cross watchers who are watching your energy as well. You do the same, which is take the rest, take what resonates to you and leave the rest. Um, I do have a playlist, okay, for Scorpio. So, if you do want to go and check on the playlist, you may find something there that really resonates with you. Otherwise, you could always come back because I upload very often here. Um, if you do need to have a personal reading, you could always connect with me using the information that I have provided for you guys in the description part of today's video to set up an appointment to have a personal reading done. And again, this is not a personal reading. It is a general reading, all right? All right, so let's get into it. Angels for our Scorpio singles, please. We have some messages here for our singles. What's the message for our singles here? Please, angels, Scorpio singles. Scorpio singles. All right, Scorpio. All right, so what I'm getting here, okay? Is a little situation that is coming in with some of you guys, all right? Now, what I do see here, someone is saying, I hope I will see you again, or I hope I will see you sometimes, right? Um, I feel like for some of you singles, you might have separated from someone that you have been with. This person you may have strong feelings for, or they might have strong feelings for you. Because even though you guys may be in separation here, um, for whatever reason, you guys decided not to be together at this moment. I do feel like someone is either hoping that person is doing okay. Um, we'll still hope that they was able to call and say, hi, how you doing? I hope things are going well. In other words, I just hope you're happy. Okay? So I do feel like even though there may be something that is hindering you guys from maintaining a relationship um, on a couple's level, you guys are still hoping that you guys are friend, friends with in even during even during your separated time or you guys are just not together, okay? All right, angels, let's clarify these messages, please, for our Scorpio singles, please. What's the message here for our Scorpio singles, please? Scorpio singles. What's going on here? Scorpio singles, please. What's the message for Scorpio singles, please? Angels, Scorpio singles, please. So, I don't feel like somebody's coming back to you, okay? 
Um, someone is coming back towards you um, for another chance with you here, okay? Um, is what I'm seeing here on Scorpio Singles. I do feel like in order for this person to come in and stay in, I do feel like something has to end here, okay? There's definitely a situation here that is ending this connection here, all right? Something has to end here. I do see like you're trying to, you're going to make a decision or you, or you're forced to make one. Or this could be them, okay? But there's a situation here that is coming in as there's a decision that has to be made here. Um, this Ace of Wands is also here in the reverse. I'm getting, you know, whatever you might have started off manifesting with this person or trying to be with this person, it kind of came to an abrupt end here, okay? You didn't really, whatever you had expected from this connection, it didn't go accordingly as you might have hoped, Scorpio, okay? But I do see this person as coming back in towards you. So I do feel like you're either on a verge right now where, you know, Someone, this could be you, this could be them, but someone is making a, a decision to listen or to make a choice or a decision to come back to start over here. Um, but this Four of Swords is also here. The Four of Swords and the Ten of Wands. Okay. I don't feel like, okay, so, you know, as much as you really care about this person and so they made with you, I feel like you have really thought this entire situation too thoroughly here, um, is what I see you doing. And I feel like it really required you to really think over time. Just saying that you had to take some self-care time for yourself just to mellow out and to kind of figure out where do I go from here? Do I need to let this person back in my life? Do I need to just move on staying single for a minute or two or three? Because, see, this relationship really had you feeling like you were carrying most of it, all right? You were carrying the physical strength of the entire relationship here. I feel like you was either feeling overworked, but some of you might have been working. This person might not, maybe wasn't working at the time. Um, but I, what I do see you picking up a lot of the tag here. Um, and it really put a lot of pressure on you. It put a lot of strength here. Um, this could have been a mental strain. It could have been an emotional one, or you maybe felt like an emotional roller coaster. But someone definitely felt like they were walking with the world, the, you know, just trying to hold everything together. Here is what I see you doing. There's a lot of physical strength that was used up here. Um, but I do feel like this person is very, at this point, persistent, but really thinking, reconsidering what they might have done. So they're coming back towards you here, singles, okay, to kind of restart something here. But they have an issue that they have to release. Yeah, your work card is in the reverse. That's in the reverse. All right, so they, wow. The work card is in the reverse, and so is the seven of pentacles. Well, see, because you have definitely carried a lot of the responsibility here of the relationship, okay? Um, the burden, let's just say the burden of the relationship. The word card came through. This card really has me feel like, all right, so there's so many things that you might have wanted to do. There's so many things that you might have wanted to obtain here. But it definitely didn't work. It didn't, it didn't come through. Whatever it is that you kind of started out doing or day with you, okay? Or you with each other, let's just say. It didn't come through because everything came to an abrupt stop. This manifestation came to an abrupt stop here. You didn't get what you wanted here because you felt like you were carrying 75, they were carrying 24, but maybe nothing. I see you giving it a lot. You gave a lot. You did all that you could here. You did all that you could, single. So I feel, feel like you shouldn't beat up on yourself because you did most of the work here. Where this person didn't really do, okay? They didn't really do because this is in the reverse, okay? 
you put in the work, you gave all you could, you tried to manifest everything that you could, even though it was tearing you apart. You stepped on it, you cried on it, you weeped on it, you complained about it, it didn't work. You still ended up carrying everything here. Um, and so now, energy has been blocked. The energy has been blocked, okay? This is the Ten of Pentacles, okay? The Four of Pentacles, okay? And the King of Wands, wow. All right, so all I have to say is wow, because the soul that you are, Scorpio, you're very loving, right? Um, very snappy, but very loving all at the same time. Um, I do feel as if you really wanted this manifestation here. And maybe for some of you, you were married to your person you're manifesting with. Um, some of you just had a really connected relationship with this person. You gave, they didn't. They held on to how they feel. They held on to what they had. They didn't share with you. So you definitely was feeling very caught up here and overworked, overburdened here. Um, what I also do see here is this King of Wands in the reverse, okay? This person absolutely has done anything, nothing at all. Um, and I do feel like at this point, somebody has either gotten blocked already um, Scorpio singles, you might have already blocked this person, uh, as well as you're going to block anything that is negative around you is what I see you doing here. I see you walking away from anything that has made you feel like you had to carry the weight of this world here. Um, I see you moving into a new chapter here because at the end of the day, even if you're in, if you are choosing to be single for right now, you still want to end up having this right here which is total happiness. Sharing happiness with friends and families and loved ones and children and instructor and persons and all that other stuff is what I see. Because you love the to feel love, okay? And you want to have this. This is your um, main concern, okay? You want to share all of you with your person. But that didn't happen here. Tell me more, angels. Tell me more, please. anymore Scorpio singles please I'm getting challenges all right for some of you are dealing with a lot of challenges is what I'm hearing what is this that I'm hearing okay okay so this challenges that I'm feeling okay is giving me the fool here and it's giving me the magician these two cards is what came through when I felt challenges coming through all right, I do feel with these challenges, you're in a verge right now. You're in a mission, singles, of straightening things out. You're in a mission of manifesting um, what it is that is going to make you happy moving forward. Even if, even if you feel like your energy has been tested here, you're definitely on the verge of being focused, um, not getting distracted here. Even if maybe some of these arguments and conflicts may be starting on your end. It doesn't matter what end it started on, but I'm getting you're not going to feel as if, you know, that person might have done this or that person might have done that or I might have done this or you don't want to play the going back in game for in game anymore. So what I see you doing is trying to make sure that whatever decision that you need to make, you think it clearly here because... At times, sometimes, being a Scorpio, you sometimes make harsh decisions and end up regretting it later on. So I feel like this time around, you're manifesting your next move here. Okay, is what I see you doing here. I see you making sure that the water is not as deep. Or you're trying to make sure that the water is where you find it, the water to be on a mental level before you put your first step in. Because you're not trying to drown. So this is where I see you manifesting that. Next move in your life is what I see you doing, okay? All right, so this is going to be your read for um, today, Scorpio Singles. I hope it did resonate. Please do not hesitate to like, to share, to subscribe to the channel if you have not done so already. Um, if you do need to have a prayer request, um, go ahead and leave your initials in the comment section. Uh, as well as go ahead and manifest what it is that you need in your life because I see you making those steps right now to doing just so 
and dealing with challenges um, in your life. But most of all, y'all, pray for me as I'll be praying for you. And with that said, always remember to seek first and you always find later.